Hi everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and today our expert trainer will be discussing about the complete interview preparation around DevOps. So if in case you'll have any doubts or queries, just drop that in the comment section and do watch the video till the end to get the best from this video. Uh, guys, we will try to uh, show you like what are all the different kinds of job descriptions that's basically available and how can you actually look into the job descriptions and how can you apply for the jobs and i will let you know two different focuses like one applying towards dev related focus another one is applying towards cloud or operational related focus so that uh, not everyone is 100 uh, percent available on both the sides but at least you will be prepared 70 percent to attend an interview and i'll let you know what are all the different things that you need to look into it and how people will generally ask questions when you apply for this kind of jobs and then i will show you what kind of cvs do you need to prepare to start with uh, i'm actually from middle east right so that's the reason i actually opened three different portals that's from middle east which is monster gulf and this one is naukri gulf and obviously linkedin and depending upon the countries that you guys are from you know what is a majorly uh, looked into uh, job websites that you can look into it right so for example this is one of the major uh, job searching sites from middle east site which is naukri gulf and when i go to naukri gulf and then when i try to just search for devops engineer jobs okay i can see at least 541 jobs that's immediately popping up right and depending upon that you can try to look into like what kind of jobs and what kind of companies you are going to apply and everything so uh, let me try to go into a simple one now so i'm just trying to open this job description which says microsoft azure devops engineer okay so this is one of the sample jobs that i clicked in which says like uh, azure devops engineer okay and the company name is digital Trend and the experience that they are looking for is five to ten years okay so what is the first thing that you need to look into it whenever you open any job descriptions and other things just look into what is the roles and responsibilities because this is the main thing that people will look in forget about all the other things what is the industry what is the functional areas experiences and other things first look into this job descriptions whether you are qualified for at least 60 percent of this job descriptions no one even i'm not qualified for all these job descriptions that they are putting in because no one puts an exact job descriptions they are just copying and pasting from all the other websites right so just try to look into it and then for example if they are mentioning like eight points if you are qualified for at least five points then you are very well ready to apply for this job right in this what is the main thing that they are looking for you have to be an expert so just look into this keyword which mentions expert because if they are mentioning a keyword called expert which means your majority of the questions will come from that only. Okay, so here it says expert in Azure DevOps platform. Okay, so if someone on this group who has uh, who has been part of AZ400, which is Azure DevOps engineer expert, and if you are going to apply for this position, obviously you will be an expert in that particular field of Azure DevOps. Hence, you can very well apply for it. And if you know Azure DevOps, obviously you know how to build a CI CD pipeline. So this point is also covered within this point. And you know how to use repositories, you know how to use a Maven, Gradle, and Git, because this is again part of your CI CD pipeline. And this again covers as part of this expert. And you know what is the software design and development, because when you are using Azure DevOps, you know an agile framework and scrum framework. And again, that is covering as part of this one and obviously a good communication skills that's okay and mobile application development is mandatory see again here they have mentioned this as mobile application development experience which means this is not ops part of your job this is dev part of your job okay as i said in the earlier devops is two kind of things one dev related work where you have to write the code you have to do a ci cd pipeline and you have to deploy it that is one kind of jd second one is ops related one where you have to do the infrastructure as a code you have to do the cloud provisioning you have to do the configuration management and then you have to take care of the deployment that is second kind of work so this requirement falls under the first kind of work which is dev plus devops 
so here mobile application development experience is mandatory so either they might be looking for uh, ios kind of mobile development or flutter kind of mobile development or gradle or android whatever it is okay so if someone is actually part of these things you can very well apply for it and you are ready to take up any kind of job right so as simple as that now let me show you one more job description this is on linkedin again i have just searched for devops engineer nothing much okay when i search for devops engineer i am getting lots and lots of job so i am just trying to look into this senior devops engineer job for liquidity group and again here if you see these are all essential technical skills okay forget about this you will be doing this and that because all the devops engineer work has to do this framework has to do this life cycle has to do a ci cd has to do docker and kubernetes okay this you will be anyways doing it but our essential focus is this one okay where you should know how to use a team city or jenkins or gitlab none of the companies will actually use all the three ci cd tools no unless they are hefty in having a money they cannot provide all the three ci cd tools and literally it's of no use to have three ci cd tools but team city is also a ci cd tool jenkins is also a ci cd tool gitlab is also a ci cd tool so if you are proficient with any of the ci cd tools the other two is also very easy okay again this uh, can you guys tell me like okay these are all the key points can you tell me like what side of job description this falls under does these things falls under the development side or does these things falls under the operation side what do you think yeah think like you are going to apply for a job just sorry for this particular job and what side of this actually falls under by default when you see anything as infrastructure as a code or ansible or terraform our networking side these things will definitely fall under operation side right and operations engineer should do all these particular things only then you will be able to deploy the code into the particular server right so that's a reason they are also mentioning here like you should have a strong aws skills so that you are required to write and terraform script for provisioning and environments on aws and you should know how to use docker and kubernetes inside aws so that you will be able to do the deployments and you should also know how to use principle to write the configuration management and you should know how to work on microservices architecture by default when you work on kubernetes you will know how to work on microservices architecture so it's it's by default okay and networking fundamentals again when you know aws you are obviously knowing network fundamentals also if not you cannot use a vpc subnet and other things and all right this is again a very important one where if you are not confident just tell them i am a beginner i am going to learn about it because when you fall under security or cyber security that is a ocean right and especially on any cloud like aws security or azure security or dev security it's too deep right so you cannot just bluff around in an interview saying like i know security and other things immediately they will ask you okay can you give me an example of how do i make a secured architecture to do a deployment so if, once if you tell you know security they will they will try to go deep into it so unless you know security or cyber side of it just tell them i am just a beginner i am going to learn about it if given an opportunity i I am ready much ready interested to learn and then excel in this particular field so that people will like that answer okay this guy doesn't know but he is very interested to learn about it right and one important thing that i wanted to tell you guys because multiple uh, fields and multiple experiences people are part of this group just try to look into what kind of job you are looking for right because devops is not common okay under devops you have network related jobs which we call as network engineers and under devops you have cloud ops which is cloud related jobs under devops you have an infrastructure engineers under devops you have a few development jobs also right under devops if you are very good in monitoring and very good in telemetry and other things then there is something called sre right so just try to look into okay my previous experiences are this and i have already learned devops i have already learned this xyz 
so when i try to use okay if this network engineer kind of job is very much useful for me then try to look into something called as network devops engineer kind of jobs which will help you if you are already a ccn engineer or ccip engineers and other things this will help you very good along with devops like for example see here you should know ansible you should know git jenkins and at the same time you should know python and shell scripting and you should also know how to use a network and other things as well like how do you do virtualization how do you do uh, security controls and network security and other things so this goes along with your previous field if you already have an experience whereas if you are a total fresher like if you are completely from non technical background and you are recently uh, trying to migrate into a technical background and then you have learned this uh, devops or cloud or docker or kubernetes and other things very well then don't go to these complex kind of things and all just search for a devops engineer kind of jobs which can be a junior devops engineer or a mid senior devops engineer kind of jobs which will generally ask you about okay what is your ci cd pipelines what is your agile framework what is jenkins how do you install an agent on the jenkins and how do you do your deployment to aws how do you do a deployment to uh, azure how do you integrate jenkins with azure so these will be some of the basic or i would say like 3 4 years kind of questions that people will ask you and one advantage like right, if you are less than 5 years and if you are looking for a devops engineer kind of jobs then people will not ask you too many questions because you are already applying for a junior position and they know uh, or they are going to just look into Uh, your ability to learn your attitude and your willingness to put your efforts and everything that's all if you don't know just tell them like i have just done it on my home lab or i have just learned it but i have not got an opportunity to work it till now but i am very much interested if you are giving me an opportunity i'm i'm ready to do uh, and i'm ready to put my 200% of efforts to do this so these answers or these kind of attitudes people will like it very much especially for the juniors but when you when you are between 5 years to 10 years that's where you will face lot of questions and by the time you should know at least uh, a couple of tools and you should be proficient in at least one tool that you are very much comfortable with and you should know at least one cloud you should know at least one microservices because these are all the mandate if you are going to be between 5 to 10 years of experiences you should know at least one cloud for sure because if you see all the devops engineer jobs they are looking for one cloud either it's azure either it's aws that's up to your choice but you should know one cloud for sure and every devops engineer jobs will have docker 100% because docker is must nowadays so you should know docker you should know kubernetes and one infrastructure as a code for sure either it is terraform or either it is cloud formation either it is ansible you should learn one tool for sure okay. yeah yeah that's what so these are all some of the the uh, i would say like the mandate that you guys have to do if you are falling between 5 years and 10 years of your experiences and other things if you are above 10 years you don't need to worry because people will not ask you to do a technical job people will ask you to do a process related people will ask you to do a project management related people will ask you to do an architect related work so there you have to know how to build a complete system how to build a cloud how to build a data center how to build a complete ci cd framework how can i create an high level design which we call as hld how can we create a low level design lld so these will be for people who are more than 10 12 years of experiences they don't need to worry about hands on or technical and other things because by the time you are 12 plus years you would have already done a hands on and everything and you would have already been proficient in other things thereafter you should focus more on your process you should focus more on your architectural related work and other things that's how you can grow in this particular fields okay so uh, whenever like so you write a resume okay so just try to put these kind of details like for example what is your technical skills okay so as atul was mentioning about put it in a separate category i mean is this zoom enough or should i zoom more okay just try to put a uh, technical skills on different categories like what are all the version control tools you know what are all the build tools what is the ci cd tools what is the database tools monitoring tools and other things so that when you put it in a different categories 
people will obviously know okay this guy knows where to put which tool and he is clear on this particular agenda okay this is one main thing where people will look into it and do not mix up a, a database tool with a monitoring and monitoring tool with something else that that will give a bad image and when you when you talk about the project details just try to put in what is a client you are working for and what are all the tools that you are using on that particular project and what are all the environments that you are working on and split your roles and responsibilities into different things like for example if you are actually doing a devops job as well as you are doing a cloud job as well as you are doing some other job then try to split it like for example devops engineers support roles and responsibilities and under devops what are all the things that you are actually doing and release manager roles and responsibility so i act as a devops engineer as well as as a release manager okay under release manager what are all the roles and responsibilities that you are doing and azure also i take care of azure administration also okay under azure administration what are all the roles that you are doing and apart from that i also take care of a digital transformation manager also so what are all the things under that you are taking care so if you true try to do it in note into these many categories okay it it gives a clear idea to the people okay this guy clearly knows what is his roles and responsibilities that he has done previously and he can segregate the work according to his role and he knows where to pinpoint and where to do what kind of work so this gives a clear idea to them right and especially for the freshers who are all trying to look for a job i just added this as a new thing called home lab setup and try to add it like what is your client name you you don't have any client name just put it as home lab setup and what is a project name you just try to set up a cloud dev lab setup and other things what is the team size you are only one and what are all the tools that you are actually using to do the home lab setup so you, i'm actually using azure devops and all the security tools and other things what are all the environments that i'm working with windows and mac and how long it took for me to prepare that particular lab for example 2 weeks or 2 months could that and clearly mention what are all the things that you have done as part of it like onboarded a new application try to deploy it created a sonar cube done some testing and other things so thereby it gives a clear idea to the people okay even if this guy has done a home lab setup but he has done it in a wonderful way he knows what is the thing that he has done and he has clearly mentioned what are all the things that he has used for his home lab and everything so this gives a pinpoint description saying okay you are not a fresher you are experienced and other things right so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you missed up on anything or if you want to have a deeper dive in devops then we have something really special for you we have our free class on devops for beginners what why and how to get higher paid jobs all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash devops02 moving ahead you'll be seeing this kind of interface just click on book your free seat now select your event date add your name your email address your phone number and click yes save my seat moving ahead you'll be seeing this kind of url save that you will add it to your calendars and i'll see you in the free class till then keep learning